According to movie critic Johnny Oleksinski, everything in the Dark Tower was completely explained and he understood nothing. If it's your first time on our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell right next to it so you can know every time we have a video out. Now let's see what this stupid critic had to say. The wait is over. After 35 years of pining, super fans of Stephen King's Dark Tower book series finally have their movie. Too bad this Tower of Error will leave them muttering red rum, red rum on the way out. It's gonna make them into an insane possessed child. That didn't happen to me. I'm, st I'm still my age. The only thing I'm possessed with is the urge to dance. Look at how much I'm urging. The Dark Tower is an actual building located in Midworld. It's the protector of the universe, including our planet, annoyingly called Keystone Earth. Well, that's what it's called in the book. You can't get annoyed by them being accurate based on the book. Also, it's not located in Midworld. It's at the center of the universe. So, uh, wrong. They explained it. They drew a fucking map. <laughs> they didn't just explain it, they drew you a map. It's like if I showed you a map of the United States and I was like, that is Nashville, Tennessee. And you're like, which is located in China. But evil forces such as the man in black want to blow it to smithereens, allowing the monsters outside to run amok. Trouble is, the high rise can only be destroyed by the mind of a child, kind of like a dinner party. <laughs> Those kids always ruining dinner parties. Bullshit. It's the crazy aunt that ruins dinner parties. Or the drunk uncle. Or finishing a bottle of tequila and deciding playing Monopoly is a good idea. Monopoly. The game that turns friends into murderous enemies. Red rum. <laughs> <laughs> like a little serial killer, Jake covers his bedroom walls with drawings of his prophetic fantasies. Which happens to be my rapper name, because you can't be a rapper if your name doesn't start with Lil. You know, minus all the ones that don't have Lil. Whatever, there's just a lot of them. Lil Bow Wow, Lil Wayne, Lil Serial Killer. <laughs> Yo, he murdered those bars. When the bad guys try to capture him in Murray Hill, he manages to escape through a portal to Midworld to meet up with a monotonous Elba. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> stop it. And learns that every problem can be solved by guns. Great. No, he learns that this particular problem can be solved by guns and psychic powers. But let's be perfectly honest. They had one problem that we experienced. Like they never talked about like girls. It's not like Idris Elba was like, uh, girl problems? Shoot her in the fucking face. <laughs> that would have been Oscar Pistorius. That's a fucked up joke. <laughs> McConaughey looks like a fatigued Wayne Newton. <laughs> Wayne Newton looks like a fatigued Wayne Newton. <laughs> what are you talking about? Might just be the worst big screen baddie since Kate Blanchett played a kooky Soviet in Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. If you left Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull being like, man, that villain just sucked, instead of, what the hell was all this other shit? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I didn't, I didn't even remember she was the bad guy because I was too busy thinking about them swinging like monkeys, fire ants that were attacking people, and you know, Shia LaBeouf trying to fence and have me believe it. The smarmy blazer wearing villain subdues opponents using his magics. His go-to technique? Saying stop breathing. Pretty cool, dude. Yeah, if you could tell someone to stop breathing and they immediately stop breathing and die, that is a pretty cool thing to be able to do as a villain. He controlled people. He made a little girl hate. That's, it's actually pretty cool. I'm not even saying he was a good villain. I'm saying that that's a cool power. Right better. Did, did that work? I feel like you would be disappointed by invisibility. <laughs> it's like, all he does is turn invisible? <sighs> even lamer is the scenery. Midworld might sound like Middle Earth from Lord of the Rings, but lower your expectations now. I had, no thought in my mind that Midworld would look or feel like Lord of the Rings. Just based on the trailer, or if you read the books, or if you have any semblance of what the plot is, you can figure out that they're not gonna be in some kind of like magical forest realm that you would assume elves were in. The landscape is bleak and unimaginative. We're taken to a gravel pit, a ho-hum forest, and a Hooverville-y campsite. <laughs> 
Hooverville. And then it's right back to good old New York for some cliched fish out of water gags involving Elba. He's blinded by the lights of Herald Square. He's drinking his first Coke. He's never been there. You have to expect that to happen if someone goes somewhere they've never been, like in another world or another dimension or another whatever. You can't get mad that they put that in there because that's probably what would happen. Someone would be weirded out, especially in New York. Shit. <laughs> have you ever traveled? If you lived in New York your entire life and went to Alabama, you'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> For a movie that's 90% exposition, strangely little is explained. Everything was explained. There was nothing confusing about this movie. What makes this tower so important? Explained. How does it keep everybody safe? Explained. McConaughey's minions are called skin people because they wear flesh masks. Why do they don them? Explained. That was definitely explained. However subtly. Who exactly are there? Who fucking cares? <laughs> Did McConaughey kill all the other gunslingers? Probably. And he said he did. And it was explained. Oh man. I just feel like if I was like, hey, can you put that bag on the counter? You'd be like, what? You silently have a lot of questions until you realize the credits are rolling because this epic is a puny 95 minutes. And if it was longer, you'd be mad. If it was shorter, you'd be mad. There is no satisfying, but it's okay because you didn't understand the things that were blatantly explained to you. So who cares? In fact, you're a critic and you went to this movie when everybody else didn't get to watch it and you probably knew it was 95 minutes going in. It was explained. Granted, it's a challenge for filmmakers to distill King's eight book Dark Tower series into something resembling a coherent movie. But with what they have now, audiences will wish McConaughey would just blow up the tower already and put a Starbucks there instead. Yeah, can I get a Dark Tower roast? Tall? Like Idris? <laughs> If it's your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell right next to it. Also, if you want to see another video from us, hit one of the ones on the screen. Be sure to leave something in the comments, and until we see you next time, geek out and game on.